All right. First and foremost, I'm going to say all praises be to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem Raka Kodash. And I'm going to say the bond of the apostles and elders, the great most on, and shout out to the sincere elect teachings, truth, and faith, and sincerity. Quick other topic I want to speak about is uh, keeping, you know, faith and, and, and hope, which of course, faith is a gift. And really, the, the only way that we can endure unto the end is if the Lord puts the Spirit, you know what I mean, upon us too. But, you know, the um, main point really like I wanted to speak on about is like, the, there isn't, you know, ever like a reason to stop praying unto the Lord, man. And really, that the kind of kind of like angle I was, I'm, I'm really speaking on, was inspired by, um, you know, I, I mean, a video. I ain't, I ain't gonna mention who the video was, you know, but this this, this person isn't, you know, a, a, a part of us anymore, in terms of great millstone. And he was basically speaking about how, you know, sometimes you feel like, we, we, you know, because of mistakes, he, he, he just isn't worthy. And, you know, which means sometimes he feels like he, he, like, like he doesn't pray to the Lord and stuff like that. And it's like, you know, hey, man, then the day the scripture says all have sinned and, 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 and fallen short. In fact, none, none of us are actually worthy that that's why you know what i mean eventually right we we as the hopeful elect will be found uh worthy you know what i mean because all of sin remember the scripture says um uh luke 21 and 36 or what, what did he say what you there for and and what pray Always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. So, hey, man, you know, really, the only way that, you know, we, 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 we shall be worthy is if the Lord accounts us as worthy, is if the Lord ha has mercy like upon us right but that's why the, the scripture says psalms 32 it says uh this is uh psalms 32 verse 1 to 2 it says blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven whose sin is covered blessed is the man unto whom the lord imputeth not iniquity and in whose spirit there is no God. You know why? Because according to the flesh, in the flesh, we will, you know, uh, uh, make a mistake and, and, and sin. But in spirit, we are pure. And the, 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 the Lord, through his son, won't hold us accountable for our sins and you know I mean you know I mean and mistakes, you see, but it like it's important to you know not not ever get into that mind state of ah oh, I'm just so wicked so I ain't praying no bro that nah bro nah no bro don't nah don't don't don't. Don't, don't ever and guess what I'm I'm saying this starting first and foremost unto like you know what I mean like 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 like, like unto myself man you know ah uh, you know I slipped up that time I I I made a mistake that time I I I made a mistake this time and I did wrong over there and I did wrong that you know a couple months ago I did wrong last month so you know what I'm just through no nah bro. Nah, that's that's Satan, really. Right, you know, it, 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 like, hey, man, it's it's called the um demon of doubt. And I remember this is mainly I I I remember, man, a couple of like like of years ago, man, um, Apostle Gabar did a video on the demon of doubt 
which that was a powerful video explaining how basically you know what i mean you know what i mean all of us experience doubt but you know it's important to to fight f through and push through it but you know hey man you know hey man it's important you know there isn't ever you know what i mean like an excuse of not praying to the lord man right especially to, to, to ask for more faith and mercy man remember all have sinned you know what i mean you know yeah you know i mean man all of you know what i mean all of us have sinned man you know uh, uh, you know what i mean and all of us have done stuff where whereby we 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 actually feel like complete you know shit for doing but don't ever get into that mind state of you know i'm so wicked so i ain't praying no more which we could ask satan you know what i mean and if you and if we get into that mind state then you know it's it's really something t t to be uh afraid about man because hey as the scripture says in psalms 51 cast me not away from thy presence and take not thine holy spirit away from me right and then you know what i mean of course in it you know what i mean ephesians it speaks about us wrestling wrestling against flesh and blood right really like if you get that mind state of you know what oh man i'm gonna stop praying to the lord i'm so wicked so i fucked up so i ain't gonna pray to the lord no more really that's 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 satan you know you know what i mean and hey man hey man as well the end of the the day the only way that we can stay in his truth and endure to the end is if the lord puts the spirit like upon us too but but still man fight you know fight man this is isaiah uh 59 and 1 it says behold the lord's hand is not shortened that he it cannot save neither is it heavy that it cannot hear you see there's always hope right as long as you 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 praying to the lord and fighting you're still in a fight, man. You know, and hey, you know that's 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 something that uh, the elder Ramar was saying unto me, man, a couple months ago, man. Basically, he was like, "Hey, bro, if it, I, I, I mean, as I, 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 as long as you're still praying, praying into the Lord and, and, and still pushing his truth, you're st still in the fight. So, hey, hey, man, yes, you know, at times, like, our mind gets plagued by, by Satan and thoughts come into your mind and you think you're just this, you think you're the most, you're just so wicked. Of course, in the flesh, we obviously sin. We, we, we at times do things that are, are stupid and off but it's important to keep faith man don't don't fall from that hope which of course we don't have control over but that's why that psalms praying that psalms uh 51 is important man hey to to pray takes faith you see don't you know what i mean you know what i mean like it doesn't matter how small your faith is like or if, you know what i mean or if it's big to to pray takes faith so the fact you pray daily unto the lord and 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 stuff that shows that you right slash we have faith man you see and it's a fight that's why it says he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved, man. Right? Hope. Oh, 
I think it's Ecclesiasticus, yeah. Yeah, um... <laughs> Blessed is the man. This is a uh, fourteen. Uh, this is Ecclesiasticus fourteen and one. Blessed is the man that has not slipped with his mouth and is not pricked with the multitude of sins. But even on that, the scripture says there is a one who slipped with his mouth, but n n n not with his heart, man. You see, but then even here it says. And it's not pricked with the multitude of the sins. So that so that really applies unto people who just indulge in doing wickedness and keep doing it. You know? They've already been told, bro, stop doing this, and they just keep doing it. You know, keep, you know, keep you know what I mean, just keep going off. Which there's those that you know keep slipping in a sincere way. But but then there's others that are just constantly puffed up and proud and you know going off man you know stealing or committing adultery and you know what i mean there's everything has a limit you know what i mean but but anyway the point i wanted to focus on was on this verse blessed is he whose conscience has not condemned him and whose hope and is not falling from his hope in the Lord. That's that is the key. Because sometimes, you know, spiritual demons Satan, you know, sometimes your 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 uh, past sins and things you've done c c comes into your mind. You know, quick because you think, oh man, and a pastor did this and a pastor did that. But you know what? That might happen, but but but, but, but again, but, 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 what does the scripture say? Who and who is not falling from his hope in the Lord? The, the the key is not to fall away from the hope. That's why we obviously always pray because even in fact, King David said the, the same thing. Right? In Psalm 51. What did he say? Psalms. 51 and 3 for I acknowledge my transgression and my sin is ever before me so even to tie it into the scripture that I read just from before you know I'm sure there was days where King David will think about man I, I remember that time I did this oh man I fucked up there oh man I was proud oh man I I, you know what I mean? There was obviously times where he would just be there and just thoughts would come into the, to his mind about the mistakes he's made. But you know what? He still kept the faith. All right? He still kept the faith. Right? Even, even here, it says it in Psalms 51 and 3. It says... For I, it says, for I recognize my rebellion, it haunts me day and night. So, hey, so, 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 so there was times where he um thought about the things he's done and felt like shit. But you know what? In Psalms fifty one, he's he's still he's he's. Praying unto the Lord, though, you see, and in praying to the Lord, even though his his past sins come to his mind, he he was still uh, uh praying and hoping for mercy. You know what I mean? Even though his past mistakes came to his mind, he was still praying and hoping for mercy. Not in that spirit of like, oh, you know what? I'm through. I'm done. You know. You see, and a, a, a perfect, you know, what I mean, you know, I mean, example of that is Saul, right? When the Lord took the spirit of Saul, Saul, Saul started going into like deep paths, man, of wickedness, inquiring a witch, 
because he knew he was condemned and he knew that uh, hey, he's he's done. So, hey man, you know what? After you know, after seek a uh, which I go do this, I go do that. Which we don't want to ever get into that stage of just being be, be, being a castaway. Which is why King David was was praying hard in Psalm fifty one because he saw the effects of being a, a, a person who's cast away, which happened with, with Saul, man. If we carry on in Psalm 51 and 4 in, in the NLT, it says, Against you and you alone have I sinned. I have done evil in your sight. You will be proved right in what you say and, and your judgment against me is just. Because at the end of the day, like all of us are worthy of death. If the Lord does decided to take us all out now it's, it's justified because all of us is wicked right but a hey, through faith in the lord is how we are found righteous that's why it's important to pray it's important for us to pray to keep the faith and to keep hope not doubt man not 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 to get in that mind state of you know what i'm wicked so i'm gonna die so, you know what? I'm going to stop praying. No, fuck that, man. That's Satan, man. For I was born a sinner. Yes, from the moment my mother conceived me, but you desire honesty from the, 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 the womb, teaching me wisdom even there. Purify me from my sins and I will be clean. Wash me and I shall be well brighter than snow oh give me back my joy again you have 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 broken me now let me rejoice yeah because sometimes the lord puts a spirit upon you to to slip and fall to 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 actually make you kind of humble and and, and after being humble you 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 increase in the spirit man that's kind of what happened with um like apostle peter the lord said to him you know that 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 satan have desired to come and sift you but you know what i've i've prayed that your faith fell not and that when that happens and our converted strengthen everyone else around you man and, 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 and that's why actually it took place man see after the uh um after the apostle peter denied the lord basically after that point you know the lord uh you know what i mean you know what i mean increased him in the spirit man you know, especially, you know, if you read in Acts. But anyway, it says, um, oh, this is verse nine. It says, do not keep looking at my sins. All right. Re remove the stain of my guilt. Create in me a clean heart. Oh God, renew a a uh, loyal spirit within me. Do not banish me from your presence and don't take your Holy Spirit from me. You see? So that's our hope, man. And and a, you know what I mean a part of showing that you, you're 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 still in the spirit is if you're still so constantly praying to the Lord, man. You know, don't ever get into that mind state of oh, I'm just so wicked, so I'm gonna stop praying to the Lord because because if you get into that, if a person gets into that, then then hey, that that's scary waters, man. But let me end with uh. Uh, second edges alright um, 
Uh, second Ezra 68 and 75 Be ye not afraid Neither doubt For the most I Hear how Bashima Shai Is your guide and the guide of them Who keep my commandments And precepts save The Lord let not your sins Weigh you down and let not Your iniquities lift up Themselves so again let not you know the past mistakes and stuff or weigh you down, but then uh, 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 at the same time, don't you know get uh, puffed up and proud? Oh, yeah, yeah, man, you know, what I mean, I'm off, so uh, it's it's cool if I do this, it's, you know, yeah, you know I mean, it's all right, like if I do that because cause that's when you'll be you know proud and wicked, man. But at the same time, it says, let not your sins weigh you down, man, thinking you know what, I'm just done. I'm condemned. I ain't making it, so I, I'm gonna stop praying. No, fuck that mentality, man. Woe be unto them that are bound with their sins and covered with iniquities, like a field is covered over with bushes, and the path thereof is covered with thorns that no man may travel through. It is left undressed and is cast into the fire, consumed therewith. So, so, and and we don't oh, want to be burnt up, man. Just totally. Condemned and thinking, yeah, I'm I'm done, so I'm gonna stop praying. I'm gonna stop doing the work. No, fuck that mentality, man. You know, and, and again, you know what I mean. At the end of the day, we have no control of being in this face. That's why, you know, what I mean, our hope is to pray and fast and hope to the Lord that He keeps us in, keeps us in the faith, man, and keeps us in the fight. All right. So with that, hey, Amen. With that, I'm gonna say, all oh, praises be unto. Yeah, how about Shima Shah by Shima Kaku? That's double honor to the person. I'll be great. Most honor to the next time I'm going to say, Shh, hello, one.